So I've seen digital learning benefit uh, my classroom as a whole, but in particular one student. It's helped his social and emotional learning skills because this student came to me a very shy, very introvert. Um, there was even times where parents had to pull him out early during award ceremonies because he would just cry, his anxiety would get the best of him. But I've integrated uh, iPads into my classroom using apps such as Seesaw and Keynote, and these are like their online journals. And um, I've had students showcase their work in front of my classroom. And so the student has finally had um, the courage to go up there and proudly present his work. And I believe the use of technology to teach him has helped him, especially with his ADHD. Technology engages him in a way that I can't always do and paper and pencil can't always do. His focus is so much improved because he's able to complete a task and now he's a leader in showing the other kids how to do things to complete their assignments. I think it's more of a metacognition thing. Uh, they are teaching themselves how to think. Okay, I have this word and now I have to uh, use it in different ways, sound it out, and then once they create that image, their own image of it, they own that word. And they were responsible for it. They took responsibility for their own learning. And um, technology is doing that. The 21st century skills is that we, uh, there's a learning approach called COVA, and this means that we give students a choice. So whether it's whatever platform they want to use, like let's say we give a student assignments. We give them, we say, these are the platforms you can use. Um, if you want to do like infographics or a presentation, go ahead. So we're giving them choices now with uh, digital learning. Uh, and, and they're taking ownership of their own authentic learning with their voices. So I believe that digital learning is giving them an opportunity to, you know, to learn themselves and it's very student-centered. Experience HCISD.